we meditate in the morning, and then we chant. The two should go together. Usually it's the other way around. You start chanting first, and then you meditate as a way of getting the mind to settle down, to put aside its concerns for the world, all the stories it's been carrying through the day. And then the mind can be quiet. But here in the morning we do it the other way around. There's a little bit of meditation, and then there's chanting. And so use the meditation as your time to clean things out. While you're chanting, you can't be fully aware of your body. So try to be fully aware of your body right now. What patterns of tension, what areas of discomfort have you been carrying around this morning? Let go of them. Kind of clean out your body. And then we can use the, the chanting to help clean out the mind. Because the purpose of the chanting is to keep in mind the pr principles of the Buddha's teachings. Because we carry so many random memories around. Little bits of commercial jingles, little bits of songs, ideas, attitudes we picked up from all kinds of places. And we need to put some other voices in the mind as well. So we chant, we think about the meaning. How we'd like to imbue our own minds with the qualities of the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha that we bow down to. So clean out your body as you meditate first here, and then use the meditation to straighten out attitudes in the mind. Use the chanting to straighten out attitudes in the mind. That way you get the most out of both. <laughs>